A solemn ceremony as the victims of last week's terror attack in southern France were laid to rest Thursday. Prime Minister Edouard Philippe and senior officials of the French government on hand to lead the funerals. For local attendees, it was an emotional commemoration. Everyone was crying, myself included. It's going to take time, but we have to keep going. Above all, we can't give in and close ourselves off. We're going to go on, heads held high. Four people were killed last Friday when a jihadist gunman hijacked a car outside the town of Carcassonne, then stormed a supermarket in nearby Trèbes. Jean Mazière was a passenger in the hijacked car, a retired winemaker in his 60s. The married father of one was active in local civic activities. Christian Medvez, 50 years old and a married father of two, was chief butcher at the Super U market attacked by the gunman. 65-year-old Hervé Sozna was a retired builder and a regular customer at Medvez's butcher's counter. The final victim, Arnaud Bengtram, lieutenant colonel in the regional gendarmes, offered himself in place of a woman held hostage by the gunman. Hailed as a hero, his funeral near Trèbes follows a national ceremony in Paris Wednesday led by President Emmanuel Macron. France has lost more than 240 lives to jihadist attacks over the past three years.